on petroleum products was indeed controversial. Let me take you back to 2013 when um, VAT was imposed on this as a condition by IMF. At the time, uh, majority, then majority leader Adam Duale said, and I quote, the 181 members have been convinced by our party leader and our deputy party leader on the rationale of 8% VAT on petroleum products. He went on to say, 181 is a very big number and we will convince our members from the NASA side. So you, in this, at this point in the year 2015, I believe when this was passed, were pushing for 8% to be added on VAT. Today, you are saying you want to abolish VAT on petroleum products. Why should Kenyans believe you today? Why wouldn't they? I mean, we live in a dynamic country, and it's only fools who don't change their mind. If you are in a situation where the price of fuel has gone to 160, I mean, it's time to think. I mean, when this VAT was imposed, then the price of fuel was under 100. Honorable maybe, Ruto, when the, price, when the VAT was um, imposed, it was at the time a condition by IMF when we were seeking a precautionary facility. Today we find ourselves in the exact same position with a third tranche of an IMF facility, and once again, they are calling for um, you know, the, same, the same issue that we are facing with VAT then is the same one we are facing now. And at the point, IMF has in fact said that we do not need to be removing taxes on petroleum products. So with an IMF facility already in place, are you then saying you are going to go back to the IMF and renegotiate the terms of that loan that is already in place regarding IMF uh, VAT on fuel products? What's wrong with ne negotiating with IMF? I think, I think any reasonable government looking at the situation where we are, looking at the cost of living and how many Kenyans are every day sinking below the poverty line, I think it takes a courageous government to sit down with our development partners and they are fairly reasonable people and have a discussion. And I think they are, if, if not 8%, we need to renegotiate on some of the items that are, uh, that are outstanding. And apart from uh, looking at that, there are other instruments uh, that we can, we, can, we can deploy. For example,